Hi, ik ben Noah en um, ik heb krullen en ik wil uh, dit keer ook mijn haar paars over Sheen roodachtig geverfd hebben en mijn krullen erbij geknipt. En je en je wilde long bob. Ja. Het is very important to say, but otherwise they think you only want the ends off. Yeah. But you want still have to have long hair, but in a long bob. There's Noah and she wants uh, a purple color, purple red, deep. And she wants uh, a long bob that she can wear straight and with curls. So that's what I'm going to make for her. Will you turn for you in the rest of the world? Will you rondje draaien? Yeah. yeah. You see she has a lot of uh, wavy curly hair. Thank you well. Thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube. We're gonna do her hair. And uh, you see she has uh, lovely curly hair. I asked her to put on a t-shirt, all t-shirts, so I can see on the shoulders where her length will be because her length will be over her shoulders, not above her shoulders. I will color her in, uh, in different shades because she wants a deep purple color. She is now a brownish color. Her natural grow is a little bit lighter so that I will color in a dark color so I'm certain that it will be not a purple red color. And uh, yeah, I will cut it with uh, my iron with a comb on it and then you can see how I do this because I want to get uh, the curls in a natural line. I first make a basic line and this way I need the shoulders to be seen but otherwise I don't know where I cut. So I first cut the baseline then I'll do the rest. And you all see this in this video. Before I start brushing the hair uh, I need to see where her natural curls will hang. So now I first cut the baseline. This I do with a normal scissor. Afterwards I do all things with a hot scissor. I'll turn it around so you can see better where the line is. Take the bends of our bra a little bit aside. Now you see how wonderful the lines lay. And I think the best line is laying here because you can see the waves. You can see how wonderful strong the lines are till here. The rest is a little bit damaged and dry. So I start with cutting on that line. And because I j first do it in this line, I'm certain that I have a natural line to work on. And you can hear that it is good hair where I'm cutting now because it's strong, it's healthy. You can hear it by snipping of the blades. Now I have still long hair and a wonderful line. This is my baseline. So if I would just cut it this way, she has wonderful medium long hair with wonderful curls and wonderful structure because now she has strong hair. Now I'm going to wet it and then I'm going to cut it. Well, anders denk ik hè? Ja. Stukje eraf. Of course I start with wetting the hair. And she is a member of my staff, so we talked about it, how she wants the hair done. The nice thing about the Tangler teeth is that it don't pull the hair. And even young children love to play with this uh, brush. You see the nice tattoo on the back? <laughs> with a drop of ink. Stiekem een beetje af te meekijken. Part hair over the center line. On the skull bone. The nice thing about her skull bone is laying very high. So you can make, when you want to make a bob, you can make a very high bob on her. But she has so large, lovely hair, you don't do that to this hair. But you never know how much it damaged in the, in the line of be, become a hairdresser. <laughs> Dat weet je niet, hoe dat je het nou gaat beschadigen. Dat is wel van 100 zijn. Ja. Yeah. I'll show you already uh, the iron I made with just a comb on it. So the nice thing about that is that I can get into the line. Pull it straight down. Watch if I'm on the center. And then cut off the ends. And then I'm certain that I have a straight line.
This uh, scissor is uh, 140 degrees at this moment. And what it does is it seals the ends. So now this is my first baseline. And especially the baseline is very important to have a straight line. Because the upper hair is also a little bit in layers, not too much. Get put it down. Put my iron in. Put it straight down. Hold it in the line of cutting. And control it again. And do this to all the layers and all the hair. Work till I get no hair left to cut on the back. And by holding this in a straight line, I'm certain that the front is a little bit longer, but that mostly jumps up. So that's always nice to have. And the line I'm cutting in is the natural line of her hair. Now I parted the hair from ear to ear, so I have a straight line on the ears, on both sides the same. Now take the hairs over the center, just lay them in the rounding of a skull and just cut small parts off. You see that there is no more hair to be cut because I'm cut coming on the layers at the front. You can see them because when I take a little bit from the front, I can see the layers here laying here and they lay in the roundings of her hair. Same I do on this side. Make sure it lays nicely over her skull. Put it straight down. And she has wonderful hair now because it feels very, very lovely. Mm -hmm. She tells in Dutch that uh, you can feel it when I comb her hair. It's so easy, it never gets stuck in hair. It just yeah, travels through like butter. Very smoothly. Control broad lines, and they are similar, so I'm sure that this line is a straight line. So now I come to the front to make uh, some new layers in it, not too, too small, but just long layers. And from summertime her hair is a little bit hard. <laughs> Wet it to transport the heat into her hair. Because then the front of her worked till I get to the line. I made over the center. Watch how the, the lines are and how the layers are. And these are the thin ends. You can see the difference when I show you this. You see till here the hair is wonderful and then you get thin end. Yeah, that take off. Work the same as in the back. Make a new start line on the center line. Take the four, first four, four centimeters of part one. And now watch through our lines over the face line and copy this line because I did the same on the back. I used the natural lines to create a wonderful line. Watch through the hairs over the lines. You can see the difference when this hair is not cut, it's dry and you get stuck in it. And when it's cut, it's wonderful smooth and connected to the back. Do the same to the other side. Watch through the hair. Take the natural lines. Take part from behind the ear to be my guide. 
pull it down and connect it to that part. Now to give it on the back a little bit special effect, I take 4 cm over the fontanelle, make a little rounding like a half tennis ball. I'll show you that in a minute. Because I want to have that strong line on the back. But I also want to be sh sure that I have all the hairs that lay on top and maybe uh, the hairdresser who did her hair the first time left over because you can see them here, they're laying here. I show you the parts of the tennis ball. Here you can see the rounding and this is the part I'm taking. So from here to there is about 4 centimeters, uh, 2 inches. And then I take to the front and then I make sure I cut that end off. Maybe off your camera. It's almost nothing, it's just this part. But when I would leave this, I'm certain that she has a, a wrong feeling with that part because that's still dry. And now I'm sure her hair is wonderful condition. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to to color the outcrow a little bit darker and she loved to have some highlights in it so that I do first and then I'll make uh, on 3% base a color over the lines so she has also a little bit light effect so the first thing I'm going to do is color the outcrow and give her a wonderful deep baseline to work on for so far the cut Ja, lekker. Goed is goed voor me, ja. Zachter, hè? Ja, lekker. Ja. Starting with the coloring. Of course, I need some protection for clothing, even if it's an old T-shirt. It doesn't matter, but I still need that. And of course, my plastic foil. Watermeter is a three-zero on three percent. For the base, so I put over the. <laughs> was searching for the place to stick this thing on. I start uh, on top, bring it in, and I show you what I do with my comb because that's also important. I don't want a straight hard line in it because even when I use a dark color, it has to be a smooth walking over her head, so it don't have to be hard lines. So therefore I created this comb, it's a, it was an old comb and some seeds were out and then I, so then, then I took this tool and I just break out the, the parts. So then you can create your own uh, comb to make softer lines into a hairstyle or even to put bleach on and make highlights. With long hair and especially with this because I don't need to, to color the length, I start on top. And then I'll show you how I do that. I part the hair over the center line. Now I take my color, bring it on for the first three centimeters. That's a, a bit more than an inch. You can do this on both sides. And over the rounding. And then I take my comb with the teeth and just pull it. A little bit near, farther into the hair, so I get a soft line and not a hard line to work on. Then I take a chopstick, take the first centimeter, lay it over, again bring in the first line, take my comb again and comb the first part so it has no hard line anymore. And so I do all the hair. Till I can get to the highlights I'm laying on it. So now I have all the color on her hair, just so the dark color so for the baseline. Now I start from above the skull bone and lay the hair aside. And I don't need highlights in the underlines because it's nicer to create a deeper underline. 
And you can see already that there was something like a highlight in her hair. So let us stay away from. Now I made myself a bleach with uh, 6% gold bleach. Now pin away the hair. And what I do now is I take just playable effects, not all on the same line, just take some parts out. I, what I told you is I made the bleach on conditional base, on a gold well bleach. With 6% I use a plastic foil, just lay this hair on it and just put it in playable, not too hard, just that I have some nice lines. Not, I don't want a, a hard line in it, just gently bring it on and make sure it is a playable effect. Not too much. And the nice thing about working with the conditioner in it, that you don't smell it, so... It's soft for the hair. And soft for yourself. Take my second line, about two centimeters higher, two and a half, it's about an inch. Pin the hair aside. Just lay them in the natural lines. Pin the hair aside. Just lay them in the natural lines. Close my neck of the way. I fall to open for the I like to go in next up. Can scale it. Hoe gek je ook dat ook zat. Lay the hairs over the foil. Lay them nicely in the natural foil. And just watch where the lines of curves are. And take a part that I think is wonderful to light up. You can lay a foil on beneath it. Don't work in hard lines, just... Now I have uh, my highlights on. This I watch how fast they go. And uh, I tell you afterwards how long it took. The, the main thing is that the outgrow is now almost uh, 20 minutes on. And I, it needs 30 minutes without heat. So don't use heat because then I would damage the hair. The heat I use in the second color and there I put a deep conditioner in. But you see me in a few seconds. Okay, we're back. I left it go till I get to a, a, a bit copper gold tone, not more than that. You see it's nicely all over the hair, not too much, not on one place, just gently light it up. Now I created her color, it's a 522, it's a violet, but I put in also a red and I put in a conditioner. And that's also on a violet red uh, paste, so I made this on 3% base, there's 10 volume. This product I'm going to mix and then apply it on her hair. It's still a little bit uh, wet but not much because you dried it a little bit. Just rinse it out. And first gently come the hair through. Now I'm going to apply the color. I don't have to worry about uh, the first part of the hair because it will not be uh, light enough, especially because it's just a 3% ten volume. Now apply the same way as I did at the start. Stay away a half centimeter from the outgrow. So I apply all the color through her hair, work as fast as I can because uh, I think it's always better to do it fast than do it slow. There's always uh, something into your uh, color that uh, breaks the process down. Mostly it takes about 40 minutes. 
Now the rest of the product I massage into the hair. Curly hair takes always a lot of product, especially when you put a conditioner in it. You can already see the color developing. Now I will close my plastic foil. I give it a little bit heat in the length, not on top. For 25 minutes, rinse it out. And then we're back for the end result. She's uh, watching at the grandma yeah. in the mirror. <laughs> She goes out this way when it's raining. <laughs> so we'll be back. Okay, we're back from coloring, and uh, yeah, you don't see much because the light, I think, is not the best into my studio. But now I'm going to bring in uh, extra treat. I bring in a keratin of affinage. Applying this. To the base of the hair. And I do this before, before I go into blow dry the hair because I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to style it with the iron because she likes to have it straight. And you already saw how wonderful her curly hair is. This I massage into the skin and there it smells ultra soft it's a very nice soft product now I'm going to blow dry it and then I'm gonna style it. Now the hair is almost dry. I just did it with my hands, just pulling a little bit on the hair. I can already feel that the condition of the hair is a lot better because my fingers are moving through the hair. That wasn't possible when we started the cut. See the wonderful shades already. Ultra soft. And I think we go outside to make also photos so you can see it better by natural light. So far blow drying. Now I'm going to style it with iron. Okay, start again with parting the hair. Of course I start in the underlines. Put hair away with my chopsticks. a little bit of protection on her look like this and it smells always wonderful take the hair up pull it straight put my iron on 140 degrees and just in one time I go slowly down pick her up with my car hold it in front And in the underline, I bend it a little bit to the inner side. Take a new part of about a centimeter. Spray it on. Come through. Make sure I have all the hair. Take my iron, take it straight out of the skin, put my iron in. And this uh, 3D artist styling tool has also vibration in it. So it's also self pulling on the hair and making sure that every hair lays in the way it needs to lay. You can hear it. And see how wonderful straight the hair is. 
and how shiny. That'll do to all the hair. Now my straight styling is almost ready. Now I'm going to apply a product of Lanza on her. And the product I'm going to use is a product that uh, brings out all the colors even more. Now this is step two. It's uh, a yeah, product that comes from flowers. And it's the same you have on butterflies. When you apply this on the hair, you even bring out more colors. Gives a lot of shine. It's not a greasy product. Just gives wonderful healthy hair. Showing you him off. Yeah. Absolutely. And this is a new hairstyle and color. Lekker, hè? Yeah. Lekker, hè? Yeah. Okay, my love, you must show your hair to the world by turning around. And we're going to make photos outside so we can see the color better. Because the sun is shining. <laughs> Thank you for modeling. <laughs> 